Greetings curious minds, and welcome back to my channel, Light in Dark. Today, we embark on a mesmerising journey into the heart of New Orleans, a city steeped in mysticism and cultural richness. Our focus is on a legendary figure whose name resonates through the alleys of history, a woman of unparalleled mystique, Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. In the intricate tapestry of spirituality and folklore, Marie Laveau's story emerges as a captivating narrative of power, influence, and the enduring legacy of voodoo. Join us as we unravel the layers of her life, from the vibrant streets of the French Quarter to the enigmatic rituals held under the moonlit sky. So light your candles, open your minds, and let the rhythmic beats of the drums guide us into the mystic realm of Marie Laveau. Queen of mystery, mistress of magic, icon of New Orleans, Across the mist-shrouded bayous of Louisiana, whispers still echo of a woman whose name stirs both trepidation and fascination. Marie Laveau, voodoo queen, herbalist cultural icon or cunning businesswoman. Unraveling the truth of Marie Laveau is like navigating a labyrinth of myth and legend, where history and folklore intertwine like Spanish moss on an ancient oak. This exploration, delving deep into the tapestry of her life, aims to illuminate the woman behind the myth, the legacy she built, and the whispers that continue to dance on the wind of New Orleans, from humble beginnings to rising power. Born in 1794 to free people of colour in New Orleans, Marie Laveau's early life was shrouded in relative obscurity. Yet, destiny seemed to whisper her name even then. Her mother, a practitioner of voodoo, instilled in her the rituals and traditions of this African-derived spiritual practice a blend of ancestor worship, herbalism, and spirit communication. Marie honed her skills, her intuition sharpening like a serpent's fang, her charisma blossoming like a magnolia in bloom. As Marie Laveau came of age, New Orleans became a melting pot of diverse spiritual beliefs, including Catholicism, African religions, and Caribbean voodoo. Marie navigated this rich tapestry, and in doing so, became a prominent figure in the voodoo community. Voodoo, with its roots in West African religions and Haitian practices, found a unique expression in the vibrant city of New Orleans. By the 1820s, Marie had established herself as a respected doyenne, offering spiritual guidance, herbal remedies, and love charms to a diverse clientele. Her clientele crossed racial and social lines, from desperate housewives seeking marital harmony to influential figures drawn to her undeniable power. Legends swirl around her prowess, tales of curses, blessings, and uncanny insights that fueled her reputation as a master of the unseen. The Rise of the Queen Marie Laveau's reputation as a powerful voodoo practitioner grew, and she emerged as a leader within the voodoo community. Her practices blended Catholicism with traditional African and Caribbean rituals, creating a unique form of voodoo that resonated with the diverse population of New Orleans. People sought her guidance for matters ranging from love and luck to more complex issues. By the 1830s, Marie Laveau was no longer just a doyen. She became the undisputed queen of voodoo, a title both earned and bestowed upon her by a community thirsting for identity and empowerment in the face of racial discrimination. Her salon, housed in a legendary New Orleans compound, became a sanctuary, a vibrant hub where voodoo rituals resonated with the rhythm of drums and the chants of the faithful. But Marie was more than just a spiritual leader. She was a shrewd businesswoman, navigating the complexities of power and prejudice with cunning and grace. She cultivated ties with prominent figures, used her influence to advocate for her community, and even established a mutual respect with the Catholic Church, ensuring her own safety and freedom while protecting her voodoo traditions. Myths and magic. The stories surrounding Marie Laveau are as thick as the Louisiana gumbo. Tales of her shape-shifting, casting powerful spells, and even raising the dead add an aura of fantastical mystique to her legacy. Was she truly a sorceress of legend? Or were these narratives spun by a community seeking solace and empowerment in the face of oppression? Perhaps the answer lies somewhere between myth and reality. Marie Laveau, undoubtedly possessed exceptional charisma and leadership qualities. Her understanding of herbal remedies and spiritual practices, combined with her cunning and intuition, could have easily been interpreted as magic by those unfamiliar with voodoo traditions. 
Her mastery of ritual and performance further fueled the flames of legend, solidifying her place as a figure both feared and revered. Legacy woven in time. Marie Laveau's influence extended far beyond her lifetime. Her legacy reverberates through the streets of New Orleans, woven into the tapestry of the city's cultural identity. She remains a symbol of resilience for the African-American community, a testament to the power of faith and cultural preservation in the face of adversity. Her image continues to inspire artists, musicians and writers, from the haunting melodies of Dr. John to the vibrant canvases of George Rodrigue. Tourists flock to her alleged tomb, seeking a glimpse into the life of the voodoo queen, their fascination fueled by the whispers of magic and mystery that linger across the bayous. But Marie Laveau was more than just a legend. She was a woman of flesh and blood, a complex mosaic of ambition, compassion and pragmatism. To understand her legacy, we must move beyond the sensationalized depictions and embrace the multifaceted reality of her life and times. Queen of the Congo Square. One of Marie Laveau's enduring legacies is her role in the Congo Square gatherings. This open space in New Orleans became a cultural epicenter where African dances, music and voodoo ceremonies took place. Marie was a central figure in these gatherings, solidifying her reputation as a spiritual leader and cultural influencer. The House of Laveau. Marie Laveau's residence on St. Anne Street became a focal point for those seeking her spiritual services. The House of Laveau, surrounded by a veil of mystery, served as a place where people could connect with Marie for readings, rituals and spiritual consultations. The aura of the house contributed to the mystique surrounding the voodoo queen. The power of rituals and offerings. Central to Marie Laveau's practice were voodoo rituals and ceremonies. She was known for her captivating rituals in which rhythmic drumming, chanting and dancing played crucial roles. Offerings of food, candles and other symbolic items were made to appease the spirits and seek their assistance in various aspects of life. Social and political influence. Beyond her spiritual role, Marie Laveau wielded social and political influence. She was a bridge between different communities and her gatherings often brought people of diverse backgrounds together. Rumors suggest that she had relationships with influential individuals, including politicians, further enhancing her sway over New Orleans' social fabric. The Legend of the Midnight Rite One of the most enduring legends associated with Marie Laveau is the Midnight Rite at St. Louis Cemetery, Num 1. According to folklore, Marie conducted secret ceremonies at midnight, drawing on the mystical energy of the cemetery. The legend, while steeped in mystery, adds to the allure of Marie Laveau's supernatural persona, Marie Laveau's family and descendants. Marie Laveau was a mother of 15 children and her family played a significant role in continuing her legacy. Some of her descendants became prominent figures in the world of voodoo, carrying on the traditions and practices established by Marie. The Laveau name remains synonymous with voodoo in New Orleans. The enigma of Marie Laveau's death. The circumstances surrounding Marie Laveau's death in 1881 are shrouded in mystery. Conflicting accounts exist, with some suggesting that she continued to lead a reclusive life, while others claim she lived openly in the city. Her final resting place is a subject of debate, and her crypt in St. Louis Cemetery remains a site of pilgrimage for those seeking her spiritual presence. Pop culture and Marie Laveau. Marie Laveau's legacy transcends time and continues to influence popular culture. From books to movies and television shows, her character has been portrayed in various forms, contributing to the romanticized image of the voodoo queen. While these depictions may not capture the entirety of her life, they have undoubtedly fueled interest in her mystique. Cultural appropriation and misrepresentation. Marie Laveau's legacy has, at times, been subject to cultural appropriation and misrepresentation. Mainstream media and popular culture have often sensationalized her image, perpetuating stereotypes and distorting the authentic practices of voodoo. It is essential to approach her story with cultural sensitivity and an understanding of the complexities surrounding her legacy. Marie Laveau's enduring influence. Marie Laveau's influence extends far beyond her mortal years. Her impact on New Orleans' cultural and spiritual landscape remains palpable. The voodoo practices she popularized continue to thrive, 
and her name resonates with those seeking a connection to the mystical traditions that define the city. Unraveling the threads. As we conclude this exploration of Marie Laveau, let us remember that her story is not an isolated thread, but a vibrant tapestry woven into the fabric of New Orleans, of African-American history, and of the human spirit's enduring quest for meaning and empowerment. By unraveling the threads of her life, we gain a deeper understanding of a cultural phenomenon, a testament to the resilience of a community, and a reminder of the enduring power of myth and legend. Marie Laveau, the Queen of Voodoo, was a woman who danced in the shadows, yet her legacy shines brightly, a beacon illuminating the rich tapestry of human experience. Thank you for joining us on this immersive exploration of Marie Laveau's life and legacy. If you found this journey into the mystique of the Voodoo Queen intriguing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on Light in Dark. Until next time, may the spirit of Marie Laveau guide you on your own journey through the mysteries of life.